Hello there, it's Wednesday, November 10th. I'm Erin Rael and you're watching West Fair's News at Noon. We start today in Westchester where County Executive George Latimer unveiled the county's proposed operating budget for 2022. It totals $2.2 billion, includes a $64 million surplus and a $7 million cut to property taxes. Latimer said that having a reasonable surplus ensures that the county has adequate funds to deal with unforeseen issues. He also said that it helps encourage bond rating agencies to restore AAA rating for county bonds, enabling them to carry lower interest rates, thus resulting in savings for the county and ultimately taxpayers. The current bond rating is AA+. Armand-based Swiss Reinsurance America Corporation has refused to pay its portion of a settlement with Duke Energy for $5 billion in environmental cleanup. This, according to two companies that Swiss reinsured, TIG Insurance and Associated Electric Gas Insurance Services did not specify how much Swiss Re owes, but a year ago they notified the company that the possible exposure was between $500 and $600 million. Duke has been storing coal ash, a byproduct of burning coal, in unlined basins at 15 power plants in the Carolinas. In 2014, toxic coal ash spilled from the basin and contaminated the Dan River. Duke pleaded guilty to criminal violations of the Federal Clean Water Act and it began closing the basins and cleaning up the messes. Swiss Re America is part of Swiss Re AG, headquartered in Zurich, Switzerland. The $26 billion company sells reinsurance insurance for insurers to spread the risk of large claims. Real estate agency Douglas Elliman plans to split from its parent company, Vector Group, to become its own publicly traded entity on the New York Stock Exchange with the ticker symbol, Doug. In addition to Elliman, publicly traded Vector Group owns cigarette manufacturer Ligit Group. The split would sever the corporate connection between Elliman and Vector Group's tobacco company, a move that could make investing in the real estate agency more attractive to some socially conscious investors. The split, which still must be approved by Vector Group's board of directors, could be finalized by late this year. That is your News at Noon update for this Wednesday. Have a wonderful afternoon. I'm Erin Rael, and I'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place.